I just woke up and I'm ready to walk you through everything I do before 12 p.m. Let's go. I couldn't bring myself to do the whole like, oh, I'm getting out of bed. I'm finally awake. One of the things that's always difficult for me to do is to like start off by pretending that I'm asleep and then I'm waking up because we all know that there's a camera there. We all see it. So uh, this is me already awake. <laughs> I'm out of bed, kind of. Um, first thing I have to do is make my bed. So let's do that first. Actually, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get dressed. Shirt of the day is going to be this old white shirt with its sleeves cut off. I look a little tired and this morning is not like most. I stayed up until uh, the wee hours of the morning working on a new business plan, which I'm really excited to talk about and share more, but we're giving you what this morning is actually going to be like. We're not giving you, I'm not giving you an idealized day. I'm normally up way earlier. <laughs> I'm normally like up with the sun and moving, um, but today's vlog is going to be a reflection of the way my life is actually happening, so welcome to it. Um, these clothes over here, by the way, if you can see this pile, uh, these are clean. I folded them and I just did not have the energy last night before bed to put them in the drawer, so that's where they are. But let's get after it. So I'm awake, I'm up, I have my clothes on, it's time to make the bed. You know, people often joke about like, oh, the, you know, making your bed, it's such a, you know, you don't have to do that. You do! If you don't make your bed, there's a small productivity goblin that swallows you at the, no, I'm kidding. Um, if you, <laughs> making your bed, it's not so, so much about having everything like ducks in a row, as much as it is just putting yourself through a task to improve your environment first thing. Because when your room is clean and when your environment is nice, you feel better, you're less distracted, you feel more organized. You've proven to yourself first thing that you're capable of making yourself a little uncomfortable to do something that matters. So we're doing that. All right, next step is we have to put in our contacts. I don't wear glasses to the gym. That's not really my style. Well, just put the contact in the right eyeball and then blew it out of my hand. So that's how this morning is going. That's why. All right, we've got our contacts in. We can get after the rest of it now. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, one of the most immediate steps is to take care of the baby. Good morning. Good morning. Neutron, Neutron often sleeps in bed with me, but he's been a little sick boy lately and sick in the sense that he hasn't had total control over his digestive system, so we're a little careful. We're a little careful about the bedding, and he's been, he's been a little crate boy, but he's having a good morning, so. <laughs> he is just as sleepy as his dad. All right. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's time. I know, I know. Give me a sec, give me a sec. All right, Neutron. Neutron's eating good this morning. We are now up to the plate on taking Neutron out and giving him a little walk. Let's head down for that, I'll show you. I take my pre-workout before I walk Neutron so it can start coursing through my veins on the early side. My gym is pretty close, and so knowing that it's less than a 15 minute walk sometimes, I wanna get it in early. Ooh, the green pre-workout juice. It's time, let's go. Going for a little stroll with the little man. One of the benefits of having a dog is all of the maintenance stuff you do to take care of him also kind of helps you out too, you know? There's no real loss. This is a good warm up for me about to be at the gym, about to exercise. It's a good way for me to take care of myself. And I just love spending time with him, so it's a good, it's a good way to start. All right, we have gotten up. We have made the bed. We've put in our contacts. We've got our pre-workout. We've taken care of Neutron. We've fed him. We've walked him. We've let him out. Now we're going to go to the gym. We're going to get a back day in. Um, nothing specific on the fit, just something that's light and comfortable and non-restrictive that allows me to move. Um, gym bag, all we have in here is water, uh, paraphernalia, like an extra mic if one, if, if one of mine goes out, and uh, a hair tie if we need to tie the hair back, maybe a towel, and that's it. It's nothing complicated, but let's get it. So every day, I walk to the gym, which is nice. My walk to the gym serves as my warm up. It gets me going. Yeah, by the time I get to the gym, I don't feel like stiff or frozen, you know what I mean? I feel warmed up, especially if it's a leg day. But it's also a pretty walk. I get to walk through lush, grassy parks and also the chaos of downtown, which never ceases to be interesting. <laughs> One of the reasons too why I value so much walking to the gym is it gives me a really good amount of time to gather my thoughts. And that doesn't just mean like plan the workout, but also just think about what sort of mental obstacles are gonna be standing between me and making this lift 
the best of my week. You really want to think about gym routine if you're invested in it like I am. I don't really think about it from like, all right, I just need to check off these boxes and take care of these lifts. It's really like, how am I going to make this lift spectacular? What is going to be the special sauce that makes this entire routine feel special? That's what's on my mind. We're almost there. So on this like, you know, five to 10 minute walk, we do everything we can to plan the workout, pick what exercises we're going to go through, exactly how many sets. We'll always adjust once we're inside to make sure that the workout's reflecting how our body feels, but you really, look, if you don't prepare for the workout, it's not gonna hit as hard. I know that's obvious, but you wanna think about your gym routine. Don't just fling yourself into the gym, get there, but on the way, really, really dial in and zone. What do I want this workout to look like? How hard am I gonna go? What are my numbers? Here we are, baby. John Reed in the flesh. Uh, get a good stretch in. Gotta warm up the body. Another little warm-up set. Try to really pause at the end of each rep. May not be chest day, but I can still do this. universal post lifting experience is to get undressed and lie down on the ground and do nothing. And I don't know why we all relate to this, but that is, uh, that's the post workout routine. We lie on the ground motionless for a while. I will get up, I will shower and take care of myself, but that is, this is an honest vlog. I'm letting you know what it's actually like. And this is currently the vibe. So, all right, let's get up, let's move, let's shower. Let's get after it. We've got a day to take advantage of. We're done with the gym. We're done with the shower. It's time to get dressed. What am I wearing afterward? Well, I like something simple. I like something neat. If I just go back to wearing loose shorts again, I don't feel as productive. Makes me feel more professional, he says, as he's about to put on a tank top. It's not, uh, you know, it's not that I need to dress up, but I need to wear something that doesn't make me feel super casual. Jeans will do the trick, plus a decent tank and some nice socks. One of my other little hacks is I have house shoes. And the house shoes that I wear, gather them real quick, are these like fleecy shoes. You obviously like couldn't wear them out and about because they'd get super dirty, but they work great for house shoes. So I only wear them inside. And again, being on my feet and stuff doesn't just give me better grip and traction. It makes me a little more productive. <sighs> All right, so immediately following the gym, I need some fuel. I worked very hard and I need to fuel my body and give it the nutrition it needs. So let's go make a smoothie. We're gonna get the essentials. We've got our yogurt, we've got our milk, we've got our frozen fruit, we've got our banana. Why a banana? I know bananas have potassium, there's a bunch of health reasons to put them in. Um, one of the reasons why I really like a banana is that it's such a great natural sweetener. Like rather than adding honey or just sugar or something to a smoothie, a banana gets it there um, in a way that I feel like a lot of other sweeteners try to. So big fan of a banana in my smoothie. Another thing that I'm known for putting into my smoothies a lot of people sleep on is uh, seeds. Why? Well, especially if you're bulking, seeds have like a lot of extra calories, which can help improve your bulk, but they're also full of a bunch of micronutrients that we don't often get from other foods. So it's, uh, it's good to have them. Bro, I know I got some chia seeds in here. Oh, here we go. I'll be honest, guys. I do need to reorganize the kitchen cabinet space. I have really not put a lot of effort into the kitchen. You'd think I would, right? Because it's like, well, dude, that's what you do, right? You make recipes, I do. But it's been hard to build out the rest of my space and work as much as I have on the design of everything while I'm also like trying to improve the kitchen. So it's been tricky. All right, let's get it going. Base of oats. And again, I, like, I measure stuff in recipes, but for my, for my personal self, I eyeball. You just, you know what's enough at a certain point. Big mess I've made already. Let's, let's clean that up real quick. We've got the oats in. What goes next? Probably the banana. Break it into halves so it goes in easier. This whole smoothie is gonna be probably just a little bit shy of a thousand calories, so it's, it's a big boy. It's a growing boy smoothie, if you know what I'm saying. Carefully. I don't know if you can see neutrons down here. Hey, oh, good boy. He hangs out. One of the things about Neutron is he's like the most tolerant dog ever. You just, you just hold him like this all day and he's down. Never fuss, because it's attention. I get it. Good boy. All right, we'll get in some yog. By the way, 
What kind of yogurt should you use for your smoothies? Listen, the absolute best yogurt that you can use, this is my personal opinion, but it is mostly correct, is 0% Fage Greek yogurt. So you might be wondering, well, what's so special about Greek yogurt? Greek yogurt has one of the highest calorie to protein ratios of like any normal food. It, this thing's got 90 calories and 18 grams of protein. That is a 20% ratio. So every, yeah, every 10 calories is gonna have two grams of protein, which is crazy. That's absurd. You have like a protein shake that's got like, you know, 150 calories and 30 grams of protein. That's the same ratio. That's the same amount. That is the same ratio as like chicken, like just straight chicken. And uh, you get it in yogurt, which tastes, which tastes good. So it's not the flavor kind. You flavor it with other stuff, but it's an excellent pick. Frozen fruit time. And I'll be blunt, you know that line on the smoothie on the side that's like don't fill above this line? I always fill above that a little bit. I'm really, I'm really bad at like not overdoing it. But we will make our space some whole milk because we are in a bulk. What do you do when you're in a cup, by the way? Almond milk. Why almond milk? Well, it's really low in calorie. Like hundreds of calories different depending on the amount you're putting in. Completely forgot about the protein powder. Don't look over here. Nothing bad's happening, I promise. Okay, all manner of protein powder. Let's just pull out some vanilla. It's simple, it's gonna get the job done. Good little double scoop there. It's a solid uh, 60 grams that we're adding on to. We're getting close to 80 grams in this smoothie when it's all said and done. All right, let's get the lid. This is uh, the Beast Blender smoothie, by the way. It's like probably the most, probably the only like design-centric smoothie machine that I've seen. All right, let's turn around and get our boy blended. Shaking it does help just to get it going. There we go. Takes a second. Ah, all right. Nice and thick with three C's. Let's get it. Yeah, that's the stuff. I would add peanut butter, which is like a classic bulk move. I'm gonna be getting plenty of calories later today, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that. One of the things about peanut butter, like I'm not a peanut butter hater, but people tout that like peanut butter has like some great, um, you know, protein content and stuff. Let's just, let me pull some out real quick. All right, listen to this. I know this is almond butter, which by many standards people consider to be even healthier. 190 calories, six grams of protein. That is not good. <laughs> just to be clear, on less than half of the calories for this Greek yogurt, we got 18 grams of protein. That is a 0.2 ratio, right? So like 18 of 90 is like 0.2, right? Or 18 over 90 is, what, is 0.2. Six over 190, this is like four times as bad. Bad in the sense that like the protein to calorie ratio is terrible. Yes, it has some protein, but the protein content is negligible for the amount of calories you're getting. If you enjoy peanut butter, be my guest. I know a lot of people really enjoy it. And I of course enjoy it sometimes, but a lot of people are like, oh, I'm gonna add peanut butter to this so I can get the extra protein. Bro, the, the protein to calorie ratio on, on peanut butter is, is pretty bad. It's not the best. By the way, you might be like, well, what's a good ratio? 10. You, 100 calories, 10 grams of protein is a fine ratio. A lot of steaks will range from like 12 to 18 in terms of their protein to calorie ratio, depending on the amount of fat. Chicken is usually about 20, so it's excellent. It's great when you're on a cut. But yeah, if you're just looking to get extra protein, you're gonna add peanut butter. Just be advised that you're also adding a bunch of calories. You can get protein from ice cream. Like, it's in there too. But you get the idea of why you wouldn't wanna just pound ice cream all day to get your protein content. By the way, I don't just chug smoothies because I'm on camera and doing so is like more aggressive. I don't really like sipping on a smoothie for extended periods of time because the quality of the smoothie goes down after it's made. It gets warmer. Unless it's like actively being kept cold, things will begin to set. Like you leave a smoothie out for half an hour, not a good time. So if I'm ripping a smooth, it's gonna get chugged. We're down on that bad boy on the first go. Let's rinse off this bad boy. Load up the dishwasher real quick. It is so important to do something in the morning that brings intensity to your day. I find that rolling out of bed and getting straight to work, being groggy and stuff, the antidote for all of that is do something difficult that pushes you. And today's workout did that effectively. I'm gonna get to work. I'll catch up with you guys soon.